USA and America. Can't you see in America? By the American dawns, early American life in America, land of the free Americans and the home of the brave Americans in America. Howdy, folks in America. I'm your American host, Joey Joeyson, here, here in America today, and I'm an American in America. We're here in America at Watkins Glen in America for round eight of the 1963 Formula One World Championship in America. All of the American fans out there today, in America, are going to be cheering for all the American teams and all of the American drivers in America. Here, here in America. Merly Merly. There unfortunately aren't any American teams out there on the American field today, but we've got three American drivers on the grid, in America. Here in America today, we've got 45 American maps coming up, in America, and don't We interrupt this American broadcast to bring you important breaking news here in America. We're here, live, in Washington, D.C., as we follow an escaped convict who has just broken out of prison. He was sentenced to prison for attempting to warn President John F. Kennedy that a group of shady people are going to assassinate him. That's a lie. We're going to say that it was only one person. Uh, I mean... Just pretend you didn't hear that. Understand? We'll kill you too if you say anything about that. Nobody, nobody fucks with our agenda. Got it. Bitch. Anyways, the escaped convict is trying to kill our beloved American hero President JFK. The police are in hot pursuit of this terrorist psycho, and they're going to kill his ass in cold blood. Life, as an example for anyone who tries to cross the American government. The DCPD are still in pursuit. In pursuit of an escaped convict. A very dangerous convict who's attempting to assassinate the president. They're in a very busy section of Washington, D.C. This is very risky. Hopefully there are too many more casualties. A lot of police cars have been wrecked already. Oh my god, this psychopath is running through a busy roundabout and nearly getting hit by traffic. An officer has almost taken him out. Oh no, another officer has crashed into a civilian vehicle. What's this crazy guy doing? They almost got him. Damn. Never mind. Oh geez, now he's hijacking someone's car. The pursuit continues, now into a high speed chase. We lost visual. Hang on a sec while our news chopper repositions. We just regained visual on the suspect. He's moving at very fast speeds down the freeway. The president has been notified and has been located to a safe bunker. The United States military has been deployed in the area and should murder this son of a bitch soon. Oh hang on, we just lost our visuals again. An update. The suspect is now in a rural area near an airport. The police are having a difficult time stopping this insane criminal.
The suspect heads down the airport runway and nearly runs into a commercial airline taking off. He's now heading back onto that freeway. He's almost to our capital in America. The U.S. Armored Division is waiting for him. And, yes, they've finally done it. God bless our military. They have blown away the escape convict, never to be seen or heard from again. America, America, from sea to shining sea, our seas to war, not yours. Hopefully this will be a lesson to anyone attempting to assassinate our president in the future. We now return to your regularly scheduled programs. 45th time this afternoon, Hammer PGH comes up to the loop, in these here parts, in America. He's got plenty of American breathing room to the next driver in America still, here in America. The Big Ben, in America. And, the American Crown, here in America, goes insane in America as the American Hammer PGH wins the United States Grand Prix, here, here in America. What a fantastic drive from him today, in America. That's his first American victory of the 1963 Formula One World Championship in America. And I've just gotten word that Hammer PGH is in fact, not an American. But he won. That doesn't make any sense, in America. That's really disappointing. I'm out of here. Here in America.